Has God been good to you? Rise up to your feet and thank him and bless his name. He has always been a faithful God. I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. Merciful God. Awesome God. Faithful one. My helper. My provider. My strength. The glory and the lifter of my head. The one that has not allowed me to enter shame, to enter disgrace. Lord, I praise you. I thank you. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. Jesus, you deserve all the thanks. You deserve all the adoration for your mighty intervention, your hand of rescue upon the winner's family. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. Merciful God, awesome God, doing awesome things. We say thank you for aborting the agenda of hell. My Father, I say thank you. Faithful one, the great provider, the way maker, the destiny changer. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Be thou exalted. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Before you take your seat, we are going to pray this prayer. In case it doesn't consign you, just pray. Hmm? Uh, you know, at times when we raise prayer points, we will be thinking that a uh, pastor is targeting somebody. I'm targeting the winch. <laughs> uh, that's my own. Are you hearing me now? Uh, uh, one of our uh, sister told me that um, they are preparing for the daughter-in-law's wedding that is to come up some weeks from now and she saw a repeated dream that she was not there. That she was not there. I said, hold on, I know the meaning. I know the meaning. Somebody is arranging her to be afflicted. But I remember my master prayed one prayer for somebody in like manner. A sister was about to be wedded. The one um, old man in their place told her that let him see how the wedding will take place. So my master prayed one prayer that God will give him something that will keep him busy. Amen. Guess what happened? He had a bicycle accident. And the leg was broken. Have you had a bicycle accident before? <laughs> so whoever that person is, maybe you know the person, no? tell the person to look for a native doctor that will cook his charm. But I'm going to read this scripture on his head now. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9. Associate yourself, O ye people, and your bones shall be broken in pieces. Yeah. And give ear all your far country, whoever is supplying them information about the marriage, how they will scatter it. Guard yourself, and you shall be broken in pieces. Yeah. Guard yourself, and you shall be broken in pieces. Yeah. Take cancer together, and it shall come to naught. Yeah. Speak the word. And it shall not stand. Amen. For God is with us. Amen. Now your own may not be like a wedding. Maybe there's somebody planning for you, strategizing for you. My God will break their leg. Amen. The prayer point is this. Whoever is planning evil, arranging evil, scheming evil for me, for you, for anyone here, oh God, let the angels of God give them divine accidents. Amen. Let their legs be broken. Amen. Let them be victim of the evil plan they have put in place. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Whoever, whosoever is planning the heart of our sister, 
whoever has devised an arrow for her, I decree, let them be victim of their own evil plan. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, let them be victim of their own evil plan. Let them be victim of their own evil plan. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, let them be broken in pieces. The evil desire, the evil plots they have arranged. Father, I decree in the name of Jesus, let it backfire upon their head. Let their charm fail. Let their invocation fail. Let their arrow backfire. Let their arrow backfire. Angels of God, give them disaster. Give them disaster. Give them calamity. Pursue them. Pursue them. Into their own very destruction. Let them fall. Into their own very destruction. Let them fall. Let the evil arrangement they have made catch their own leg. Let the evil plan they have made catch their own head. Let them be victims of their own evil plan. Let them be victims of their own evil plan. Lekusutu en shagogaga pedo nazeke. Jeglo pero emprebenio jikukatoka pe gaga 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 lego robo shaga fire of god scatter their camp scatter their camp holy ghost fire rain vengeance upon their camp holy ghost fire descend upon their camp with vengeance lenkutu enkabe emprebenio and kikutu Jakukate, pega gaga 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 gaga. Bero, zizo, enade do, jaklupe bredi ikuka, pe kutu, jakoka, pelede. La rada gaga 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 gaga. Everyone involved in that plan. Oh God of Oyereko, let them have a share of the vengeance. Let them have a share of the vengeance. Berodos, 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 Berodos. Everyone involved in that plan. God of Oyedepo, I prophesy. Let them have a share of the vengeance. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever is involved in planning your heart, I decree, let the angels of God push them and let them become victims of the plan. The destruction they have planned for you, let them enter you speedily. Whichever evil altar they have hired to shoot the arrow, I command by the blood of Jesus, let the arrow backfire to the sender. Say amen like a believer. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And for that, our sister, you will attend our wedding. Amen. Gloriously. Amen. In fact, we are the best. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whoever is angry with the plan of God for your life, I decree, let there be a visitation of vengeance for them. The evil they have desired for you, let them become victims of the evil plan. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please take your seat. Some people may not like the prayer of this madman. 
But very soon you will like his prayer. <laughs> I've said it over and over. Winch no get mercy. So if they have opportunity to finish you, they will do it. But before they finish you, finish them. Are you hearing me now? Exploring the breakthrough power of vision. We're taking the last topic today. Something good we answer for someone. Man is a man of ways. Man is a man of devices. Man is a man of plans. But scripture said, there is a way that seemeth right to a man. But the end thereof carries question mark. Any plan you are doing that God is not involved, shame is waiting for you. May you not embark on a plan that God will not go with you. The reason for the frustration of many is not that God is not willing to help. It's not that God is not willing to send helpers. But they want God to back his plan that will not bring him glory. Any plan you are involved that God is not involved, hear me? Get ready to meet Satan on the road. At my level now, I'm very careful in taking decisions. When the decisions get too tough, I must send Papa a message. I must, I must call Bishop Abiyu. I must call Bishop Aremo. I must call Pastor Jeme. I must call Paul Enenche. I must tell him, this is where I am now. What do I say? What do I do? Because one wrong move is enough to send you to the village. And you know, starting afresh is one of the most difficult things through of us. Scripture says in a multitude of counsel there is what? Safety. And you seek counsel from reasonable people. Not gossipers. God will only back his plan for our life and not our plan. I know the plan that I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. To give you a future a hope, an unexpected end. Every of God's plan prospers. Every of God's plan for me, for you, is intended to prosper you, to advance you, to upgrade you, not to reduce you. Man's plan is only ambition. God's plan is in his vision. Thank God for ambition. If they are not in line with God's plan and purpose for your life, it will increase your struggle. That is why it looks as if many are walking, there is nothing to show. Ask yourself, is God in the journey? As prayerful as Moses was, 
He still said, Lord, if your presence not go with me, don't move me from here. Oh. If your presence is not going with me, don't carry me out from this place. Oh. If I found grace in your sight, show me. He said, my presence will go with you. My presence will go with you. Which means, no matter who you meet on the way, you will win. My presence will go with you. Don't look for your plan. Ask for his plan. There are many wonderful opportunities that have come my way. When there is no signal in me to move, to act, and you're putting pressure on me, I said, it will never click. If he click, energy go come out. If he click, grace go come out. If he click, I go talk him. But if it does not click, it's as good as dead on the paper. Thank God for the plans you have. But seek for his plan. But should I tell you something? You can't outplan God because you didn't give yourself a destiny. You didn't give yourself a future. He knows what will announce your glory. He knows what will bring out your star. When you try it by yourself, you will enter the ground. But when is the one moving it, it will be self-announced. The grace of God functions best where his plan is leading you. The grace of God is withdrawn where his plan is not leading you. Where it's not leading you, his grace is withdrawn. God will only back up his plan for your life. When you are in God's plan, you meet helpers. But when you are not in his plan, you meet destiny eaters. People that will help to devour you. When you are in his plan, you meet destiny advancers. Destiny activators. Why? Where he is leading you, he will be sending helpers to meet you face by face season by season step by step if you are not in this plan the heavens can't open for you the heavens only open in the direction where God's plan is for you If you are not in his plan and you are moving, giving in your best, the heaven will become brass and the earth will burn like oven. That's why some people put in much, bring in little. Why? He is not in the plan. I remember where we went for church planting. A copper that came to serve and they became our helper in the work. Before service will come, they will sweep the classroom. We are using classroom then. From sweeping the classroom, they will arrange the chair. So, he has some cash then. Still in line with this, he went to invest in a buying of means to supply to Nigerian breweries. You know, they use maize to ferment beer. Because God was not in the plan, the first one he bought, rain beat the tea. Bad market. 
Are you wrong saying now? Thinking that they will give him compensation to increase the quantity we supply. The second one he bought, rain beat it again. The third one he brought, they condemn it. Do you know what? God is not with that arrangement. So I told him, come back. The next thing he went to do, he went to buy pickup so that his pickup will be supplied. The thing was breaking down every, every week. <laughs> now, at times we bind devourers, but you can't bind God. God can deliberately teach you a lesson that I'm not going with you. So, he cried one day. He said, he said Pastor, this thing is about me. I said, how? He said, I've invested but yet it's ending in shame instead of glory. I say it's a sign that God is not there with you. Come back. Come back. Now the next opportunity that came, I said, don't just rush, pray. If God is going with you, favor will be announced. And before you know what's happening, what he lost in those three ventures, he recovered it in one transaction. Any plan that God will back up in your life, his faithfulness will follow it through. Say, faithful is he that called thee, who also will do it. And when we talk about God's plan, it cuts across every area of our life. Maritally, financially, academically. Are you wrong saying now? If you want to marry now, you know everything about you will tell you, this is the person. This is the person. But when, forces will tell you, don't pray. Don't pray. Don't pray. Are you not a man of your will? Don't you understand your emotions again? That force that is telling you, don't pray, don't pray, is Satan. He knows that uh, he has arranged you for disaster. He will tell you, don't pray. Don't pray. I didn't tell you something happened. This, was it last week I went to Goshen to see Bishop? That young man that I said got married to a sister that the sister refused to show me and Pastor Labi. Eh? I saw him in Goshen. When he saw me coming out of uh, ES office, he ran away. I was looking for where he entered because that would have been the end of his assignment. He divorced the sister and married another sister. The last time I saw him was in 2010 and I've been looking for him. <laughs> but I won't blame him I will blame the sister. Where is the person that want to marry you now? He's coming. He's coming. That's what we're doing. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We left. He went to marry someone that beat her blue black. Collected everything in her account. Packed the property. That's the person that I've come to become a pastor. I will still catch that man. I just pray that he's within Abuja. I will just tell Bishop, they should call this man. He should tell us where is uh, Ufoma. In marriage, if you don't marry God plan, you go marry Hito. You know what they call Hito? You will prefer to be at working place so that when you are coming, he's sleeping. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying now? May you not miss the plan of God. Yeah. We are saying it now, some people are doing gra-gra. You never enter one chance before. If 
if you have entered, you will know what we are talking about. Go and ask people that have entered one chance. Are you what I'm saying now? You need to pray. Tell your neighbor, pray. Pastor Boyomi, who was our original overseer in Port Harcourt then, was talking about um, a sister who was faced with almost the same challenge. They asked her, go and pray, go and pray. She said, all the feelings around me is telling me is the one. <laughs> Should I tell you something? Your feelings are short-lived. When crisis come, at that time you go know your feeling. <laughs> you will test your feeling. Is this what you saw? My feeling. Is this what you feel? Are you on saying now? God will only back up His plan, not your plan. Likewise, in destiny, you don't just choose what you feel like. You don't choose what you feel like. If you choose what you feel like, you will end up like a local champion while you have been destined as a global figure. Before I joined ministry, I tell you the truth. I had one unusual desperation. Say with me, desperation. I was living with my book, sleeping with my book. My plan was not to go for youth service because I was already getting prepared to go into exploration geophysics. They've already given me topic that I would do in my MSc. But something happened. The Holy Ghost kept telling me, if you dare it, you will not survive. You will not come back. You will not fulfill the plan of God. And I have received the call on campus. I received the call on campus. 1994, July. 12th. I remember dates. If you, if you dare it, you will not come back. I was trying by all means to suppress the voice. I was doing everything to kill the voice. But the more I try, I can be walking on the road. I will hear the voice. I will run. Because the pages of scripture in Isaiah 49 was following me. So, and I made up my mind that anytime I'm free, I'll be praying. So that, let it be that I hear God well. So, my project, I wrote a thesis that was presented in our NMGS journal with my supervisor. He said, this is part of your pick. And Professor Peters is bringing the other one that you are going to do. I didn't open my mouth to tell him one day that the call is there. But at any time they are talking, that is your plan. The thing will be telling me, follow his plan. Follow his plan. I was trying to kill the voice. I was trying by all means to silence the voice. Just to make sure that he does not survive. Because I was already dreaming of oil money. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about now? I was already dreaming of all your money. So I said, ah. I was not asking myself, is this how this thing will be? I know we'll agree. I must go. So I was trying to make sure that nothing affects my results. So I told Prof that uh, this one, my Prof had one um, um, 
one contract they gave to him in Moby Dead. He said, I should analyze this well, very well, because it's part of what I'm going to be doing. I did it, finished it, prepared the report, and gave to him. He said, good, we are forwarding it. So, the spirit still tell me, we are not going on. Hear me? When God's plan is following you, try as much as you can to suppress the voice. It will still follow you. Look at what happened. By the time I answered the call, I was posted to a particular location. Our geophysics lecturer then, Professor Kereke, came with some final year students to do mapping within my area. So I just went to greet him. He looked at me. You that disappointed us. We are not happy with you because we invested much in you. They don't give people their books, but I pack all their books into my own study room. If they want to give, they just photocopy and give you. You can't touch their book. Oh. It's like they put their money inside their book. You that disappointed us. Say you want to be pastor. When I came back that day, I cry. I said, Lord, I must be rich. I'm telling you the truth. Oh. Lord, I must be rich. I must not be a poor pastor. At that point in time, something happened. I started buying books on money, on investment. We were just buying. Apart from prayer and other things, so we were just buying, 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 buying. I said, all these people that mock me, they must hear about me. Oh. To show that God's calling does not go with pity. It goes with envy. That was where I got that sticker. I'm not an object of pity. I'm a creature of envy. I wanted to follow my plans by all means. But the Holy Ghost said no. Follow his plan. His plan will announce you. And I tell you the truth. If you follow God's plan and your heart is in it, every other thing people are seeking to get will fall in your hand. Follow his plan. Follow his plan. Follow his plan. If you follow your plan, you have reduced the chance of your destiny to 20%. That is if you manage to see 20%. Because earthly forces will fight you. Human forces will fight you. Spiritual forces will fight you. When you are not in his plan. But when you are in his plan, I will go before thee. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass. I will cut in sunder the bars of iron. The next verse now. The three. I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mightest know that I, the Lord, which calleth thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. What are the biblical proofs of a true vision? God protects the lead. He will protect you. He will preserve you. He will shield you. Exodus 23 verse 20. Exodus 20. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way 
and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared an angel. Now hear me. These angels don't come like wind. They come like human guides. Human instructors that will keep you on the path of destiny. Hear me? The ultimate plan of the devil is to take you out of the path of destiny. But if you are in the plan of God, God will send people into your life that will instruct thee, that will keep thee, that will say, hey, don't go there. It has destroyed plenty of people. Go like this. I will send an angel. That angel comes like your destined destiny helper to keep thee. There are people that must tell you, shut up. There are people that must tell you, sit down. So that you won't miss it. So that you will be preserved. The worst thing that can happen to any believer is for you to do something and not tell someone. If anything happened to you on the way, it is your fault. And check it, most of the calamities some people have met is because they felt that the decision they took is enough. Enough for where? If there is somebody you fear, if there is someone you call your mentor or your instructor, tell him about it. If he's not pleased with it, He'll tell you, wait, let's check it. Some will say, do I need to tell him? I'm a man of my own now. The Holy Ghost speaks to me the way he speaks to him. But I tell you, I pass I. <laughs> we see in levels, through of us. There's what you want to do now, they say, wait. Just wait. Let's see it. Let's check it first. Some will say, no. I'm convinced. The Holy Ghost just spoke to me now. <laughs> Your conviction is pure water. I hear what I'm saying now. Remember I told you about a pastor that wanted to get married and Bishop was telling him, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. He went to put pressure on the chairman marriage committee. You know, chairman marriage committee, they're always under pressure. Put pressure under, put, pressure, put him under pressure, and before you know what's happening, they arranged the marriage, and they did the wedding. He had his way, but today, the marriage cannot hold. The person in marriage said that, uh, stop that prayer. I'm your senior in the spirit. That's the wife who, stop that prayer. I'm your senior in the spirit. <laughs> that was what Papa wanted to prevent. But he wanted to have it his way. God protects. God preserves. God also shields the one he is leading. If God is leading you, he will shield you will preserve you. Do you know what is ahead of you on the way? But there is someone that has seen the head. Number two, biblical proof of a true vision, you enjoy divine peace. You do what? Enjoy divine peace. Psalm 85 and verse 8. Psalm 85 and verse 8. I will hear what God the Lord will speak for he will speak peace unto his people unto his saints but let them not turn again to what? Fully. I will hear but will they hear? How many will hear? Hearing is a choice. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Hearing is what? Hearing is a choice. 
Every time God speaks, he speaks peace. God doesn't speak confusion. Anytime you are troubled over a matter, please check it. Is God in that decision? Is God in that plan? Is God in that decision? I want you to hear this. Any plan that you are involved in and God is not involved, instead of getting peace, you will get pieces. I didn't send these people, yet they run. And if you run when he has not sent you, anything you meet on the road, now you cause them. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. God will guide. He said, I will guide thee. I will instruct thee. I will preserve thee. Peace. One of the signs of peace is that you are not struggling to get anything done. You know it will come to pass. When God speaks, he speaks peace. He doesn't speak and put you into tension. That's why scripture says, be anxious for what? Nothing. Don't. Anytime you are tensed, troubled about anything, you have lost your peace. God is not with you. And check it. In most cases, people do things to satisfy their conscience rather than to please God. If your conscience is satisfied and at the end you enter destruction, which one is better? Should I tell you something? There are some things you do that does not have a guarantee for repentance. And that's where disaster may meet you on the way. Very terrible. So there is need to check. Before you make a move, check. Is God in this thing that I'm doing? What is the after consequence of what I am doing? People don't check that one, no. They don't check that side. What is the after consequence of this thing that I'm doing? Is God, is God in this move? Is God backing this thing? And you know, the more you do things that God is not involved, the more you kill the chance of your destiny seeing light. The more you put holes inside the original plan of God for your life. What is the last biblical proof? The last biblical proof of a true vision is that the joy of the Lord usually accompanies the lead. Psalm 89 and verse 15. Psalm 89 and verse 15. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light. In the what? In the what? What is the light? What is the light? The word. The light is talking about the word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my what? Path. So you cannot take wrong steps. For thou will show me the path of life. For in his presence there is fullness of joy. At the right hand there are what? Pleasures. Not pressures. So when you take step where his plan is not leading you, you come back with sorrow. No wonder scripture say, their sorrow shall multiply that follow after other gods. Maybe somebody led you. Go, you go. Do it, do it. He said, their sorrow shall do what? Multiply. How do you assess God's plan? Number one, you must be joyful. 
Should I tell you something? Your joy is with you. It's not in anybody's hand. Nobody determines whether you are joyful or whether you are sad. You determine it. Are you what I'm saying now? Your joy is with who? Is my heart in your hand? Uh, so you can't determine my joy. Scripture so says, with joy shall you draw waters out of the wells of salvation. With joy shall you draw. So, remaining joyful is your choice. It's not a gift. Are you hear what I'm saying now? It's not a gift. It's your choice. And do you know, people that are not joyful, they don't think where. Have you discovered? Their thinking is affected. Joy fuels creative thinking. When you are joyful, you are insightful. When you are joyful, you will be, in, you will be induced with revelation, inspiration. So every time you are moody, carrying a bad heart, you are carrying poison. No wonder scripture says, a merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a dry spirit crushes the bone. Paul say, rejoice. Again, I say what? Rejoice. I can be angry with you, but that does not determine my joy. After I get angry with you, I just put it on one side, continue my work. So that I won't see you now and begin to frown face. For what? You know, you need more muscles to frown your face. That's why some people look older than their age. They have, they have squeezed their destiny. Are you know what I'm saying now? Nobody did that. <laughs> if you are not joyful, you will die quick. You will just be aging fast. Someone will ask you, are you sick? <laughs> not knowing that uh, bitterness is growing deep roots. And when you allow bitterness to grow deep roots inside you, it kills you faster. Before you know what's happening, you are getting more and more depressed. Every day you are sad. Your face is like puff puff. <laughs> Nobody is holding your joy. You are the one holding yourself. Tell your neighbor, be joyful. joyful. Isaiah 30, we read that scripture very quick before we rise up to pray now. Isaiah 30, verse 29. Isaiah 30, verse 29. Studio Kai. Ye shall have a song. I don't need to be inquired to sing. You shall have a song as in the night when a holy solemnity is kept and gladness of heart as when one goeth with a pipe to come into the mountain of the Lord to the mighty one of Israel. Look at verse 30. And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard and shall show the lightning down of his arm with the indignation of his anger and with flames of a devouring fire with scattering and tempest and hailstones even your joy self can cause trouble in the camp of the enemy. Oh, you don't know? So be joyful. Should I tell you something? Satan will use people to make you sad. It is your choice to remain sad. Mona do and wear so that I think go pay now. Pay who? Me? My body be like stone. You go tire. What I do? It's like this one. What I do? I know rich. You know rich. Do more. Do more. You are killing yourself. The joy is inside. It's inside the spirit, not inside the out. It's inside what? The spirit. So your joy is with you. If you are not joyful, you'll be aging fast. You'll be dying slowly. 
scripture says, and joy is withered away from the sons of men. And when joy is withered, you can't be productive. Are you know what I'm saying now? Huh? You become less efficient when you are not joyful. Tell your neighbor, be joyful. So in all things, be joyful though. Are you know what I'm saying now? Uh -huh. Be joyful. Because if you are not joyful, if you die now, that thing will still take place. Oh. I tell you the truth. Oh. Should I tell you the truth? It will still take place. And lastly, one must be a lover of God and the interest of his kingdom. Love God. God can reveal his secret to you if you are not a lover of him. Even naturally, you don't reveal your secret to people that hate you. You don't show your secret to people that don't like you. For what? No, you will not try it. Neither God. God can't show his plans, his secrets to people that don't love him. David said, my love and my affection is set towards the house of my God. Increase your love for God. Not for man. Don't come to church because oh, so that somebody will talk. Even if you don't come, somebody will still talk. Even if you are not committed, somebody will still talk. You hear me? Love God and please God. Things will be working. I hear what I'm saying now. Increase your love for God more than you do for man. Because man can change. But God is ever faithful. He say he abided faithful. He cannot deny himself. The person you think that you trust too much now can change one minute. Pa. It, can, it can change just like WhatsApp. It can change. But he said, I am the Lord. I change it not. When man change, I just laugh because God has told me since 1993. He said, put not your trust in man of what account is he. Man can change. When they change, I only laugh well. I say, God has helped me remove one person on the road. Any person that changes on my path of destiny, I know you are not supposed to follow me, reach my ultimate destiny. So I celebrate. That this person has changed, just leave him alone. No? It's not needed. Be going your way, JJ. You will meet your right people. Rise up to your feet. That's why at times I get angry when some sisters say that this brother disappointed me. If he had behaved like a chameleon and marry you and show you Shege, what would you have said? Thank God he disappointed you so that the right person will appear for you. If the wrong person does not disappoint, the right person will not appear. Lord, help me to follow your plan. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever power is manipulating me to walk in my way and not your way, Lord, deliver me. Deliver me. From following my plan. Help me to walk in your plan. Help me to discern your plan. Help me to understand your purpose and plan for my life. Lord, help me. Help me. To follow your plan and your purpose for my life. I need your help. Help me to follow your plan. To follow your purpose. Help me to follow your plan. Deliver me from walking in my own way. Deliver me from walking in the path of destruction. Deliver me from walking in the path of confusion. Deliver me from walking in the path where the enemy has set trap for me. Lord, deliver me. Help me. 
Lift up your voice and pray from the depths of your heart. Lord, help me. I need your help, Spirit of God. Help me, Spirit of God. I need your help. I need your help. Every manipulating force making me to walk in the ways of the flesh. Lord, deliver me. Cry out from the depth of your spirit. If you have been going the wrong way, Lord, ask him for his help. Ask him to help you. Ask him to deliver you. You will not end up in disaster. You will not end up in destruction. You will not end up in depression. Lord, deliver me from walking in the ways of men. Help me to follow your purpose and plan. Kalobo shikete zizo reke preke tonaria enrushi akenado zozole bekutebo jeku kapre kete zizo zia inkreketo zizo lamberade shikote koza laketo kopre kete zizo zia. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How many of us here are baptized in the Holy Ghost? You are baptized in the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues. Now, do you know what? If truly you hear God and you follow God, anytime you are praying in the Holy Ghost and you are going the wrong way, the Holy Ghost he will tell you, this thing you are doing is bad. Don't go this way. Has anybody experienced it? Plenty times. There are times I will take some decisions and I'll begin to pray. He will be telling me, that plan is not good. Do it like this. Do it like this. There was one day I, I, I have made plans to travel. She has even asked me, have you prayed? I just ignored her. When I, got, when I woke up, and began to pray. The only thing I was hearing, cancel that journey. Cancel that journey. Cancel that journey. So when she saw me on the table in the morning, they're not going again. I said, the Holy Ghost said, I should cancel the journey. And I've called the person that booked the ticket. Open my ticket so that it, it will not waste. The journey was canceled. I didn't even know why he said I should cancel the journey. But I was hearing, cancel that journey. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. That's why <laughs> the spirit beareth witness with our what? Spirit. The spirit will bear witness. He will tell you when you are right. He will also tell you when you are wrong. From today, you will hear his voice. Yeah. As you partake of this communion, the inspiration you need to take the right step, it will answer to you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. If peradventure you are on the wrong way, he will show you the right way in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Any power manipulating your mind, manipulating the steps you take, by this communion, that spell is broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Hear me? Scripture says, He that is often reproved and hardeneth his neck, he says, He shall suddenly be destroyed without remedy. When God is speaking to you and you pretend as if you are not hearing it, your disaster is concluded. But as you partake of this communion, I decree your intervention. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. As we are dancing, God told me now, any plan the enemy has marked out for you, as this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, 
the plan backfires. As the blood touches the ground, whoever is involved in that plan, the blood will pursue them. The angels of God will pursue them. By this blood of sprinkling, any evil plan matter for you, they are scattered. Whoever is involved in that plan, I decree confusion to scatter them. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The arrangement they are made for you scatter. The arrangement is disappointed. The arrangement backfires. There will be confusion in the air. Confusion in the realm of the spirit for them. Their camp will be confused. Their camp will scatter. No evil plan will come to pass in your life. So shall it be. Holy Spirit, confirm your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Only the counsel of the Lord will stand. Only the counsel of the Lord will stand. Every evil plan and arrangement marked out for you, they are shattered. The plan of the wicked concerning you and your family, they are shattered. The plan of the wicked concerning you and your family, they are shattered. By the blood of sprinkling, that evil plan scattered now in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. That evil plan is scattered. That evil plan is scattered. That evil arrangement is scattered. Whoever is planning evil for you, let the blood of Jesus pursue them. Pursue them in their dream. Pursue them in their sleep. Pursue them in their going out. Into their own very destruction. Let them fall. So shall it be. In Jesus name we pray. They are disappointed. I said they are disappointed. Hear me. Don't miss Friday prayer. Surely. All the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the presence of the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeem of the Lord say so.